AI versus humans. The question is, are you scared? According to you.gov, the dominant feeling among Americans about artificial intelligence is caution. Nearly 54% describe their feelings of AI as using the word cautious. 49% they're concerned, 40% are skeptical, 29% are curious, and 22% are downright scared. According to Pew Research, Americans are two times more likely to report saying they're more concerned rather than excited about AI. Well, last week, I was at the Growth Drive conference in Charleston, South Carolina. George Sandman was the host of the conference. George, by the way, you did an absolutely fantastic job. We've had multiple Zoom conversations over the past year, and I was so excited he asked me to speak at it. And I was just blown away by the attendees and the expertise in the room of how, what are we going to do as consultants, as experts in our own fields and with different industries? How are we going to use AI to help grow not only our own business, but more importantly, grow our client's business? We touched upon some fantastic new tools, which We've been using some of these for a long time, but we actually learned so many more different opportunities, different applications on how to use artificial intelligence to help grow our business. But what was interesting in the room was the side conversations, i.e. the human conversations. See, as I'm doing recording this podcast right now, what was so interesting was the conference itself was absolutely amazing. Outside the conference conversations was amazing. And even in the same room as we're listening to AI, people questioning, is this AI really working for you? Is it really creating the value that you expected? One of the best speakers on the conference was a gentleman named Mike Garrison. I'll be holding up his book for those who are watching it. It has a book called, Can I Borrow Your Car? This is a great metaphor and concept of when you're trying to generate new business, there's one main train of thought these days. Is how do I use AI tools to help expand my potential reach to get to more clients? But there's this old school method where people like Mike Garrison have been using for years, which is, do I trust you to be able to give a referral? And if I can trust you to give a referral, is that really how I should be actually growing my business through having the right connections and people of influence to get through the trust relationship. See, this is the problem, folks, is we are recognizing that this AI and the amount of information that's coming to us, we're just frankly not even listening to it. Matter of fact, I've been a part of multiple email conversations where a owner of a business sends out a request among multiple people and says, hey, do you know anybody legal who is good at hiring people, who is good in IT, is good at accounting? I get these questions surprisingly a lot. And why? They could search us on Google. They could search us on ChatGPT. They could search us in other tools. But no, it comes down to is that they're trusting the humans. The trusting people have actually had real experience. We can't even trust necessarily the things that are recorded that we see as the testimonials on a website. So the reality is this is we've gone back, I think, because of being scared of AI is we're doubling down on people even more than we have before. That's why if you don't have a strategy to connect with people, you have a risk, ironically, of being left behind. It's more important ever not to be hiding around your email, hiding behind your phone, hiding behind your computer to be able to connect with somebody. Relationships are still making the decisions, at least in most situations. They're making the decision to buy or to sell. And so this is why I encourage you to not only have your AI tools to be able to systematize and accelerate, but to make sure that you're connecting the right people because it does come down to trust. Will you allow somebody else to borrow your car? Well, that's what it comes down to is when you're recommending somebody else, they're putting trust in you that you're providing a great referral for them. So I hope you've enjoyed this conversation on $4 million strategies. It is why we are doubling down ourselves on our trusted partner relationships. As a matter of fact, we have been building our trusted partners for the past year. Well, it's, frankly, it's been a long time of 30 years of connections, but we more recently, as we have our 40 
strategies. We are seeking expert in each one of those areas that we can feel like they can borrow our car to give the trust to refer somebody else about their great product or service. So if you are looking for a partner, feel free to go to our website on 40 Strategy. We do have a good list, but if you're even interested in potentially becoming a partner of ours, hey, there's no cost to being put on our website, but we do, there is a cost if you aren't the right partner. We're gonna make sure we get the right people on there. So it's people that you can trust as well. This matters and people still trust other people's decisions. Thank you so much for a part of our $4 million strategies as we're continuing to find ways to not only use technology, but to double down on the importance of working with people in a very concerned environment. With that, have a great day.